Alberta community in Canada has just opened two new PR pathway for international workers to come into Canada to work and live in Canada. This two PR pathway is an opportunity for the community of Alberta to contribute to the regional economic development that is currently ongoing. As some of you know, there are some community in Canada that usually release some in-demand job opportunity or new PR pathway in order to be able to cushion the effect of the shortage of works that they have in some of this community in Canada. One of them is the Alberta Regional Economic Development, which is called the Smoky River Regional Economic Development for the community of Canada. And as I said, the sole aim of this PR pathway is to contribute to the economic development of Canada. Now, these two streams, one of them require that you get a job among the employers that have been accredited by the community of Alberta. And this job must fall under the in-demand jobs that are currently in shortage in Canada. So this means that one of the stream, you need to secure a job and pass through the normal or the required eligibility criteria with the employer and with the community of Canada. Once you have passed through all of these criteria and the community of Canada recommend your applications for visa or work permit to be granted to you, you and your family can relocate to Canada. And this opportunity gives you access to a PR within a short period of time upon living and residing legally in Canada. Why the second PR pathway released by the Abata community as a way of supporting the economic development of the residents or the people residing in Alberta is to attract foreign entrepreneurs to come into Canada either to invest in an ongoing organizations or businesses in Alberta community or relocate to Canada, the Alberta community, and start a fresh business in Canada and which requires that you must have some sort of experience within any business that you want to either start afresh in the Alberta community in Canada, or you invest in an ongoing organizations in Canada. So today, I'm going to be showing to you the different opportunities, the eligibility criteria that you need to know for each of these streams that has just been released by the Alberta community in Canada. So come with me, let me quickly show you some of these informations and everything that you need to know about these two streams for the community of Alberta. And if this is the first time that you are seeing our channel, this is Jackpa with the Adays. On this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunity that we aid your jackpot plan. So if you are just coming across our channel, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all of our social media platform and give this video a thumbs up, okay? So as I said earlier, the purpose of this true stream is to be able to improve the well-being and the businesses of Alberta community. So which is why one of them require that you apply for an open job opportunity in demand jobs that are currently in high demand in the community of Alberta. Why the other one require that you come into Alberta and start an entrepreneurial business in one or in any of the 
businesses that are in high demand in Alberta. So the first stream is called the Rural Renewal Stream. Yes, the Rural Renewal Stream. These streams offers eligible workers an opportunity to immigrate to the region or the province of Alberta, the formal support of the Smoky River Regional Development. Now, then we use the program to attract and retain newcomers to the region of Alberta for them to help them to fill the vacancies that are in high demand in Alberta. The program will help employers meet their labor demand. It will expand our skilled workforce and contribute successfully to the community of Alberta. Okay, and of course, this is the employability, this is the employer eligibility information that are essential. Employers that wish to fill workforce gaps using the rural renewal stream must meet a series of criteria and demonstrate that the job offers a genuine offer of employment in an eligible occupation. Yes, in an eligible occupation. So which means there are some jobs that are not eligible for this PR pathway. So this, I mean, all other informations here are for employers to take note of. However, for the applicant itself, now, these are the type of jobs that you need to particularly pay attention to when you are applying for any of the job. And I'm going to be showing you the job vacancy website where the community of Alberta themselves have created a platform to, you know, uh, 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 to, to allow all eligible employers post all the jobs that they need or that they desperately need international workers to come into Canada or Alberta to engage in those job opportunities. Now, this, the type of jobs, job offers or contracts must be signed by the employee and the employer. So which means both party must sign the job contract before the community of Alberta will recommend your applications for work permit to be issued to you and your family. So a signed work contract is very, very essential. Another thing is that to work in the Smoky River region, it must not be a virtual um, job. It must not be a job that uh, you have to be at home to do this kind of job. It must be a job that requires that you physically come into Canada or Alberta to do this type of job. Also, it must be a full-time job that is defined such that it has a 30 hours work per week. Another thing is that it must offer up to about 12 months of employment contract or opportunity to its applicant. The wages and benefits that meet or exceed the lowest starting wage for your occupation across all industries in Alberta. And of course, if you need any further clarifications regarding that, you can, you know, email this particular email or send email to this particular email. They will attend to any of the informations or clarification that you need. Now, in essentially, the applicant eligibility criteria that you need to know. Applicant that wish to live and work in the Smoky River regions must meet a series of criteria receive a bona fide offer from an eligible employer, get endorsed by the Smoky River region and apply using the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program portal, which means you can also submit every of the documents to be recommended to the Canada Immigration um, um, Embassy of your country for them to issue to you the work visa to come into Alberta and work. So which means if, once you've secured a job and you you know gather all the necessary documents, you need to go to this portal here or to this Alberta Advantage Immigration Program portal and submit all the essential documents. So prior to applying for, a, for an employment opportunity, candidates are encouraged to review, understand, and ensure they meet all the eligible requirements under the Alberta Advantage Immigration 
program. So let's quickly also check some other, you know, essential eligibility criteria that you need to be aware of, okay? And of course, uh, I, will, I will also show to you the job portal shortly, okay? Now, essentially, this is the process that you need to take note of, the Rural Renewal Stream Program process. The first process or the first thing that you need to know is the stage one, employers with vacancy. You need to apply to employers with vacancy for the Smoky River Regional Economic Development to determine eligibility and agree to participate in the program. So it is not all employer in Alberta or in Canada that is participating in this Smoky River Regional Economic Development, specifically designed for the people of Alberta. So you need to be sure that this particular employer that, you are, uh, that is going to employ you is participating in the program. Secondly, candidate needs to read, understand, and meet all the program eligibility for the government of Alberta website. Okay, the third one, the third process is that candidate review the job posting on the smokyriverjobs.ca portal and apply for the position that they are qualified for. The fourth thing that you need to also know is candidate is uh, hired and, uh, and receive a bona fide job offer from an employer for full-time permanent work. Full-time permanent work, not remote job or part-time job. The fifth thing that you need to know is that the newcomers committee reviewed the candidate and decide to provide or not an endorsement letter. So which means at the end of the day, it is the Alberta community themselves that will endorse your candidacy for the, uh, for the Canadian Immigration um, Embassy to issue you a work visa. So your and the endorsement letter is very, very essential for your candidacy. So the lastly, candidate applies for nomination through the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program Portal, which is what I said earlier. At the end of every day, once you've secured a job, you have every document necessary that you need to apply. You must submit it at the Alberta Advantage Immigration Portal. So let's quickly check some of the other eligible, you know, uh, eligibility criteria and, and some other information that are essential for this particular pathway. Now, as I said earlier, it is not all jobs that qualify for this program. So you must ensure that you, you the job you are applying for is not among the ineligible occupation list. It is very essential. I'm not going to read all of that to you. You need to check them here on this page. Okay. Now, Another thing that I want to check, I want to you know, quickly talk about is the language requirement. So depending on the national occupation classification jobs that you are applying for, if your job offer is for NOC 0, 1, 2, or 3 occupation, the minimum language requirement, which is the Canadian language benchmark, is the minimum of five for your speaking, reading, writing, and then you know, speaking. So uh, so, which is which means for your IELTS that we do, the minimum score that you need to have if your job falls under the NOC 0, 1, 2, or 3 occupation, the minimum Canadian language benchmark that you need to score for any language test that you are going to take, either IELTS, person test of English, or whatsoever that is uh, that's accept acceptable by the Canadian embassy or by the Canadian government, it must fall under the minimum of five for the English language. Why, if your jobs fall under the NOC 4 or the NOC 5 occupation, the minimum requirement for your English language for all the four levels of speaking, reading, writing, and then, you know, um, reading is the minimum of four. So and these are the um, English language that are, you know, recognized in Canada. Now, Another thing is the education requirement, education requirement for those people that want to apply for this job. At the time your application is submitted, you must have completed a minimum of high school education, which is equivalent to Canadian education standard or a foreign degree. So which means a minimum of your O level or WAHEC certificate is what is required from anyone that want to apply for this PR pathway. So a minimum of 
high school certificate equivalent to Canadian education standard. That is the minimum educational requirement. Now, there's also another thing called settlement funds requirements. Settlement funds requirements. Or is this is also very essential for all applicants for ten, for temporary foreign workers only. Only temporary foreign workers must meet settlement funds. I mean, what is settlement funds is, you know, when you get to uh, Canada, you know, to rent an apartment, to get your bus ticket and some essential things that you need to be able to help yourself when you get to Canada with your family. That's what they call settlement funds, accommodation, rent and all of those things, feeding. So settlement funds is what this, I mean, that is essentially what is called settlement funds. So you need to also show proof that you have settlement for. However, your settlement funds, it also depends on the, um, the, 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 uh, the community in Abalta that you are staying. So for instance, the population size of the community and the funds required, it depends also on the population size of the community in Abalta that you are staying and the number of households that you have. So if you have, for instance, if the community that you're staying in, that you want to reside in, in Abata is say, for instance, the community is less than 1,000. That is what, this is your, and depending on your household number, okay? That is what we influence the settlement funds that you and your family need to have in your bank account. If the community size is between 1,000 to 30,000, this is what we, and your household capacity, it's, this is what we influence the settlement funds that you have. And likewise, if the community size is between 30,000 to 100,000, <clears> as an example, that, and depending on your household family members, that is what we determine the settlement funds. Now, <clears throat> how do you show these settlement funds? Now, you need to also note that real estate property, jewelries, cars, and other personal assets are not eligible as settlement funds. Now, if your spouse is coming with you, you can count money you have together in a joint account. You may be able to count money in an account under your spouse name, only if you show proof that you have access to that money. The funds must be available by the time of application and assessment. You must prove to the Alberta Advantage Immigration Portal stating that uh, you have access to these funds. Now, this is how you will show proof of this. You must provide an official letter from any banks or financial institution where your funds are. This letter must be printed on the financial institution letterhead, include contact information of the financial institution's address, telephone number, etc. Include your name, list all outstanding debts such as credit card debt and loans, include for each current bank and investment account, account numbers, date. Each account was opened, current, ba current balance of each account, transaction made within the past three months, average balance for the past six months. So <clears throat> these are essential eligibility criteria that you need to know. And of course, this link, the link for each of these streams will be provided to you on the video description for you to do further information or do extensive research regarding each of the streams for the regional economic development for the people of Alberta. Now, this is the job portal for the Smoky River jobs, for those that want to look for jobs, for, for the jobs that have been posted, for the in-demand jobs opportunities. These are some of the enlisted jobs for agricultural technicians, agricultural equipment technician, meat butcher, meat processor, meat cutter, butcher, plant operator, uh, carpenter, apprentice carpenter, I mean, the list goes to agricultural service technician, agricultural uh, equipment technician, apprentice. So the list goes on. So if you're interested in any of this job, you can apply through these agencies called Indeed. Once you click on it, it will take you to their page where you need to submit all the necessary documents for them to assess your applications and you know schedule you for interview if your applications or your CV meet the requirement of the job. So that is the job opportunity portal. So, and they usually, or every time, update this job opportunity. So, you, which means you need to be checking day in, day out, the job opportunity that are posted on this particular page. 
so that you'll be able to check if they post any particular job that particularly speak to your professions or your skills or your CV. Okay, so that is that about the um uh, about the rural renewal stream. While the second one, which is the rural entrepreneurial stream, okay. The rural entrepreneurial stream. Don't forget that each of these streams gives you an opportunity for fast track permanent residence in, in Canada. In yes, it gives you a fast track permanent residence in Canada. So let's quickly talk so that we don't waste much of our time. The second stream is called the rural entrepreneurial stream, and it allowed the Smoky River region to offer permanent residence to entrepreneurs who want to start a new business or purchase or invest in an existing business in Alberta. The rural entrepreneur will help expand our local economy and assist with association planning for the small business within the region. Now, investors eligibility. So, and of course, if you want to reach as an investor, as somebody that wants to express, uh, me, uh, send an expression of interest to start a new business or to invest in an ongoing organization or business in Canada or in Alberta, you can, you know, check, click on this link to read further details about that. But let's quickly check some of the essential information for the rural entrepreneurial stream that you need to take note of if you want to go start a new business or if you want to go invest in an, in an already existing business in Canada. Of course, you know about what who is an entrepreneur. I'm not going to bore you with that. Now, one thing that you need to know is called the exploratory visit. There's something called exploratory visit. So depending on your status, whether you're already in Canada or whether you're outside of Canada, you, you, you have an opportunity to be able to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, 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 visit to Canada. So if you're already in Canada, it really helps you. But normally, it will, a, a physical visit will really help your course. But because of, the, uh, uh, the, because of the distance, there is something called web based video conferencing, such that it will give you an opportunity to be able to, you know, uh, meet your investors or meet your business partner if you are investing in a business or meet the uh, the the committee which are or meet the committee that are in charge of new business opportunity for you to be able to you know pitch your new business opportunities your experience in this you know business among other essential information so which means you have every so this means everybody have an opportunity to be able to uh, visit or have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, either physically in Alberta or via video conferencing. Now, let's quickly also check some of the eligibility criteria for, you know, if, I mean, for if you want to invest or start a new business. Now, your work experience, have either minimum of three years work experience in an active business business owner or manager, or a minimum of four years of experience as a senior manager within the past 10 years, and an education completed a minimum of high school certificates. So as an entrepreneur, you, you, you know, you are not required to have a degree. A minimum of high school is, however, required. Language certificate have a minimum of Canadian language benchmark level four for each language skills, reading, writing, speaking, you know, a minimum of level four, which is equivalent to uh, CLB, Canadian Language Benchmark. And this is these are the language uh, um, tests that, you know, that is recognized by the uh, uh, Abata community. Now, your net worth, minimum net worth of uh, 300,000 Canadian dollar, all assets must be candidate own, personal holdings or spouse or common law partners. Now, business investment, minimum investment of, say, 100,000 Canadian dollar from candidate own and or spouse or common law partners equity. Higher level of investment will be awarded more points. Now, another thing is business establishment. Now, if you want to go start a business afresh there, I mean, not going as an investor, Minimum ownership of 51% for a new business is required. Business partners must be Canadian citizens or permanent residents in Canada. So, which means your partner 
if you are buying into an already existing organization, your partner must be either a permanent resident or Canadian citizen. However, if you want to start afresh or buy an entire company, a whole the whole organization, you must buy or have 100% ownership of the business succession such that the business must not be on the list of ineligible businesses. Resources on how to establish a business in Alberta. You can check this page to see other essential information for new business that uh, want to assess loans and some other essential information there. Now, the job creation. New businesses must create at least one full-time job for Canadian citizens or permanent residents, not including relatives. Yeah, not including it. You don't say that, uh, oh, I'm already employing my relative, my wife, my brother. No, not including relatives. So your new business must, must employ a permanent resident or Canadian citizen. Secondly, more jobs creation will be awarded more points. Jobs must be created for Canadian citizens or permanent residents because that is the sole purpose of this stream, to be able to create jobs for the people of Alberta who are permanent residents or Canadian citizens. For business succession, job creation is not required. Now, community support letter. Candidate must have a community support letter from a participating rural Alberta community. That is very, very essential. And of course, you can also read in detail some of the other essential information here. The, the list are enormous. Economic benefits, business succession, age between 21 to 49 for business owners, spouse, your spouse or common law partner as one of the following completed at least one year of full time for secondary education, a minimum level of CLB4 in English, a better relative. relative. Relatives are defined as father, stepfather, mother, stepmother, child, stepchild, sister. I mean, that is how they define relative in Canada. And you can read other essential information on how the great points, how they determine new businesses, viable businesses, among other essential informations. And of course, that is why they said physical exploratory visit is very essential. But if you cannot physically go there to gather essential information while or before you submit your expression of interest for the entrepreneurial stream, you can do a or register for a video conferencing whereby they will be able to you know give you all the essential informations regarding any new business you want to invest in or any new business you want to start for uh the people of uh, Alberta such that they to benefit their permanent residents or their citizen in Alberta and this is the opportunity that we want to quickly discuss for those who are interested in relocating to Canada Alberta community as open this stream and we've talked about the one that require that you get a job before you can get endorsement letter from the community and one that require that you either come in to start a new business or invest in an already existing business in the alberta community and the whole idea is to improve the regional economic development of the alberta community of the people of Alberta and of course so this is the opportunity that we quickly want to talk about with everyone and thank you very very much once again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notification also let us know where you are watching from so that we can connect with you and of course try as much as possible to post information that will be very very relevant to your locations thank you very much once again for watching till we see you next time bye bye for now